Namaste. I hope you're good. We're doing today chair Viparita Dandasana, supported Viparita Dandasana on a chair. So the only thing you need is a mat, a sticky mat folded in half twice, and a chair. You can also do this on a bench. Any chair would do, and you can also do it against the wall. We're going to place the folded mat on top of the chair seat, checking its center, and we're going to sit through the back rest. If you don't have a normal chair like this, you go a tutorial also with a chair, a normal dining chair turned sideways. So chair Viparita Dandasana or Viparita Dandasana, it's a combination of both. It's an inverted posture, similarly in effect to Sirshasana because it stimulates the glands in the head and the throat and it's also a back arch. So you're going to sit tall, pressing the hands in the chair to lift the chest, okay? You're going to lift the spine. Once the spine is lifting, you're going to move your buttocks all the way forwards on the chair until you lie down with your shoulders absolutely flat on the chair seat. Then with the help of the hands, very slowly you will start pushing Notice I'm sliding, I'm not lifting and going back. You will gently but firmly start pushing the chair so that your body slides back on the chair until the bottom of the shoulder blade reach the edge of the chair seat. You want the bottom shoulder blades, the bottom of the scapula on that edge. Once it's there, you're gonna bend the elbows and move the arms aside and wait there a little bit. Okay, pressing the arms for the chest to open from the pubic to the throat to the chin. You got to let the head hang. That's what I said. It's like Sushasana. Stimulate your pineal gland. The head is vertical. Then you're going to extend the legs. And if these give you any pain in your back, you're going to keep that the pain doesn't move. You're going to keep your legs bent and practice like that for a couple of weeks. Otherwise, we extend the legs. If you are okay with it, you're going to take your arms inside, through the inside of the legs of the chair and extend the arms and hold the back legs of the chair. So in the post, the edge of the chair seat is pressing the shoulder blade up, the bottom scapula up, and the chest is expanding. The arms have to roll, upper arms have to roll out, and the legs have to roll in at the top thighs. Now, if if you, you experience lower back pain having the feet on the floor, then you will have bricks one or two at different height, depending on what you need, under your heels. So you're going to support your heels with a couple of blocks, a brick, or even a chair if your back hurts. Or also if you're too small for the chair and your feet might not reach the floor. Then you use the support under the feet. If you got your period or you're doing this asana, Charviprita Dandasana, when you're tired, fatigued, or you're doing it within a recuperative sequence, recuperative asana sequence, then you will support the head and the shoulders. Just with a bolster and maybe one or two blankets, you're going to keep this position of the head, but with the shoulders supported, neck supported, and the head position with slightly changed. And then you can, if you feel like you can take different arms, positions, variations, like extending and bending the arms in Baddha Hastasana and holding the elbows. And then make sure that you do both crossed. This is Padahastasana, Chair Viprita Dandasana. 
always press your legs down. You can also do Urdhva Hastasana and play with the position of the hands. You can also do Urdhva Badangulyasana. Remaining to do both cross. And you can also do Sirshasana arms. Sirshasana one arms. And remember that you only take these variations when you're established in the classic pose. Because all these arm variations intensify the pose. Then to come out, you release the hands from the, wherever they went. You will hold the uh, chair, bend the elbows, and to come up, you're going to press the elbows down and lift from the chest, not from the head. So the head is the last thing you, st you straighten. So you hold, push the elbows down, and sit down. And then you stay quiet with your back straight. And then when you feel your back to your normal, then you're going to take a gentle twist to the right, maintaining the coccyx in. And after a couple of breaths, you undo and you twist to the left. And that was supportive Viparita Dandasana with the chair, over the chair. Thank you. See you in the next video. Namaste.